Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a drugstore tutorial, um, mainly for like high school, college. Um, it's more of like a realistic, in the rush, you know, couple minutes kind of uh, makeup tutorial. I'm doing mainly what I used to do in high school. I did my makeup more in high school, um, even though I had less time than I have now. Um, but I'm going to kind of do what I did then and maybe add a little bit here and there. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to grab my moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer that you use. I'm just grabbing the one that I have here. And this is the Glam Glow um, Illuminating Moisturizer. So I'm just going to put that all over my face. Okay, so now I'm just going to put on a lip balm. I'm just using my EOS lip balm, it's the one that I just have here to prep my lips for lip products. Um, now I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm just going to basically spot conceal any, um, you know, pimples and around my under eyes. I'm not going to do any like crazy highlighting because we're not going to be putting any full coverage, medium coverage foundation, um, just to, you know, spot conceal and make yourself look a little more awake. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Conceal, um, and then for under my eyes, I'm going to use my NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I'm just going to be using my fingers for this. So I'm going to use my Master Conceal first. And I'm going to put that on any blemishes I have. and. Any areas that I feel like are a little spotty or just need some help. So I'm going to use this and here and here. And I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers just because when you are in a hurry, you don't really have time to be wetting your beauty blender or, you know, baking, setting, all that stuff. So I like to use my finger to conceal. Especially, you know, when I'm in a rush getting ready for school because it melts the concealer in my skin and um, I feel like I don't really have to set it that much. Whereas if I use a beauty blender, I really need to set it because it kind of makes it lay on top. Whereas when you use your fingers, it warms it up and lets it uh, melt into the skin a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my NYX concealer just with my finger and I'm going to just get some here and put some in my inner corners and right up to my lower lash line and just go back and forth and just blend it in okay there you go looking weak even more already <laughs> so now we're doing um, hmm, we can do a face, yeah, so if you have a little bit more time, you can go in with a face powder, this is the Maybelline uh, Super Stay Better Skin foundation powder, and you can just run this all over your skin, so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go in with this. pretty this one's called quarters this one's called um, butterfly beach and this one's really pretty this one's a highlighter so I will do a little bit of blush and then I'll go over it with the um, highlighter so that you can kind of see how it works and I'm just going to be using my fingers for this just so you know and I'm gonna dab this on my blush topper highlighter thing um I kind of to be honest I did overdo it 
with the blush a little bit. I tended to do that a lot just because I wanted, um, just wanted my blush to last a little bit longer throughout the day and the blush is the first thing to go. So was never, I was never afraid to go in heavily with the blush a little bit. Um, you don't have to, of course. Um, I just really liked the look of it. Um, and yeah, so now I'm going to go in with Butterfly Beach and I'm just going to kind of get some on there and lightly highlight and slowly mix it with my blush. So now I'm going to grab my Master Prime by Maybelline. Here it is. And I'm just going to quickly put a little bit on my lid here and here. Now this is only if you have enough time. I never did this. I know some other people have time for this. So you can just, um, if you don't have time for this, you can just skip on to eyebrows and mascara or just eyebrows or just mascara, whichever is your preference. But um, I just want to show you quick options for this. Okay, so now we are going in with ColourPop's eyeshadow in um, Cornelius. Here it is. It's like my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow because it's so easy to use. So I'll just grab it on my finger and put it all over the lid. I have a lot of blush on. Oh well. If you do feel like you have too much blush, now I feel like I have too much blush, you can um, just grab a brush. Yeah, you can just grab a, bl a brush and just go over your cheeks really quickly. You can even use um, the powder brush that you use for your foundation. You can just go over it. Alright, so now we are going to go in with mascara. My favorite mascara from the drugstore, hands down, is... Um, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I accidentally got mine in waterproof and it is a bitch to take out. Just warning you. So if you don't like waterproof mascara, double check because I had no idea. Which is funny because it says waterproof right there. And I just found out. So I'm going to curl my lashes put on some mascara. optional I like to do it sometimes um, but you can do eyeliner so now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner this is optional completely um, I used to do wing liner every single day and then I got lazy so then I just went in for tight lining and whenever I used a purple eyeliner or mascara I have brown eyes so people always said that my eyes look pretty so I'm just going to tight line this is completely optional but yeah okay so now I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows and I love these eyebrow gels they are perfect um 
super easy they fill in your eyebrows really quickly I have both um, a high-end version and a low-end uh, drugstore so this one is the brow stylist plumper from L'Oreal and then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and um, I think I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal one I like the wand better on this one because it's smaller and it allows me to get a little bit more precise and when I'm in a rush I'm less likely to like mess it up or anything okay so last is lips and I have three different options I believe three yeah three so I have two glosses and a lipstick. Um, you can also go in with liquid lipsticks. I didn't really use liquid lipsticks because they weren't really a thing back. But, I mean, you still can. I use them when I'm in college. I tend to use the ColourPop ones just because I feel like they last the longest. Um, but yeah, I have my ColourPop uh, Ultra Glossy Lip in WeHo. Um, this one's a creme finish, and I feel like it adds a really nice um, wash of color. Then I have my my Anastasia lip gloss in Kristen. This one's a really nice like pinky nude color, and I think this one's really nice too for every day. And then I have my um, my lipstick in Razor from oh no not Razor a uh, Brink from ColourPop, and this one's a matte finish, and I like this one for every day too. So yeah, I'm just going to apply my Brink uh, lipstick. Okay, so, and I'm using Butterfly Beach, the highlighter that we use on their cheeks. Okay, so that's it. I finished my back to school everyday kind of routine. Um, you can use all the products. You can use um, more products if you want. Get more creative. You can do more eyeshadow, wing liner, anything like that. Um, whatever you want. It's up to you. And yeah, you. I think it's a pretty more realistic look. Um, there are a lot of girls that are doing back to school videos and it's basically just a full face of makeup, just really neutral. Um, and to be honest, I've never had enough time to get up and do a full face of makeup. Even with, you know, a class starting at 11 o'clock and I wake up at 9, I like my sleep. So for you girls who like your sleep over your makeup and you still want something, you can do this look. I hope this helps. And yeah, um, let me know if you guys try it and how it works out for you and if you like any of these products or if you do it, if you've been doing anything similar to this, I'd like to know. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment below of anything you have. Um, any suggestions you have of any videos that you'd like me to do. So yeah, thanks. You can go in.